we're testing our coil because uh, you know we weren't sure if we were getting spark through it and we were having a hard time being able to tell so we got our makeshift key switch on and so right now what we're doing is the condensed or the coil goes through the points off the ignition switch your coil gets hot power from your ignition switch here and then it's got goes through the windings of the coil and then out on the secondary wire to your distributor usually we just got it hooked up to a spark plug here and ground it out and so how the coil works is when the secondary wire on your coil goes through your points and the points open up it loses its ground um, intermittently and that way it will discharge all the power from the coil to your distributor to make it fire. So what we're doing is going through and bypassing the point system and basically taking this ground wire, hooking it up to the coil and grounding it out and interrupting it. So you can kind of see there that as we interrupt, it keeps going and sparking through the spark plug. So that means the coil is good on this truck and we should be able to hook it up and run. All right, so we've eliminated the coil as a problem. We've never really popped the cap off here to take a good look, but it's got some pretty nasty corrosion there on the point. So we're gonna get that sandpapered off and then put our cap back on and see if we can get some spark through a plug wire now going through the coil and the distributor as well. All right, so we verified that we had a problem with our points and condenser. We tried to sand it up, but obviously you know we just weren't getting fire across it so now we got a new set in here a new condenser new points so what we're going to go ahead and do is set our point gap now normally you have it set at uh, 17 thousandths the spec is somewhere within there but we don't have that today so we have a little business card and it's about 17 thousandths thick or so so what we're going to do is get the uh, engine turn it over by hand here we got no plugs in get it up on one of these high points here and we're just gonna simply push it up against it and get our body spaced out here slip this business card in if we can and now we'll tighten down our uh, two screws here and we should be good to go so when you tighten them up, you want to make sure that that body stays in line. This one's got a little more play, but uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. All right, got everything hooked up here. New uh, points and condenser in it. And now we go ahead and bump, bump our engine over. We got some spark. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and stick all our plugs back in, shoot a little carburetor cleaner down the intake and see if we can get some fire out of her. All right, got all our crusty old plug wires hooked back in. Got some carb cleaner here. We're going to spray it in the intake, see if we can get this engine to uh, light off. So I guess let's see what she does. Holy crap. It's gonna run. They're breaking free.